Hey guys, it's Eugene the Gaming. Today we're back with another video. I'm seeing that a lot of people are going back to school, right? So I'm gonna make this video dedicated to helping those people into getting into math again. Okay, so I'm gonna give you problems, sets of problems, and then you have to solve them. Okay, first problem. What is one plus something equals five? Now take a moment and pause the video if you don't know the answer. Okay. So what you want to do is get 5 minus 1, and then your answer will be 4. That's the basic formula, and then you'll get that answer. Okay, so here's the second problem. x plus x equals what? So here is what you have to do. x equal to the amount of 1. So x is 1. So we're going to do x plus x, and that's going to become... 2x. Okay, our third problem. So what you see right here is all in one equation. It might be seem confusing, but it's really not. So take a moment and pause the video to figure out for yourself. Okay, so what you want to do is PEMDAS. So you have to do the distributive property. Let's see, the first equations, we have to find the square root of y over r, and then we do this, which is over, which is divided. Over a, a number over a number is means division. So a fraction, and that's going to turn that into a decimal, right? The thing is, you want to do parentheses, right? And then exponents. And if you look really hard everywhere, you probably won't think there's a parentheses until you go here. In the third line of equation, you'll find me, that is also in the power of 2. Okay. And then you also see graphs right here, where you see the x and y axis and the z, w axis, which all go into different decimals and fractions, right? And then you get some, uh, you get some notes as well, just in case. If you're a little bit confused, you have e equals mc squared, and then you have f equals m times a, m equals f divided by a, a equals f divided by m. Okay, I hope this helps you. And let's go to the fourth one. Okay guys, this is our next equation. So by now you should be able to solve your problems on your own. But since you guys might not understand, I also left some notes in there. Used to back to school again, okay? So here we go. This problem, we call it the spaghetti thing rice indigo nachos goodness. Because you can see how it looks kind of messed up, but it isn't. You can see all those decimals, the parentheses. All you have to do is just use the PEMDAS order. Okay guys, the order of operations. And you should be good. I also provided some diagrams. And so take a moment to pause the video and you should be able to get to the problem's answer. Okay guys, this is the last problem. This is the last problem or else the fifth problem. You guys probably know how to do this already. This is a simple equation and this these five equations should help you get back into the school mode. All you do this is it's a two-step equation. It's pretty easy. Just do the order of operations and the exponents and all that, you know. And so yeah, have good luck and I'll see you in the next video.